everyone i hope you're doing good i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying sane you and your loved ones with this freaking pandemic going on i hope not too many of you are anxious and going crazy about uncertainty as i am <laughs> i'm not being too dramatic or tragic i know we as a whole are going to get through this I just hope it's soon. I'm kind of losing my mind here. But anyways, let's go to the video. And today I'm showing you the process, this process of this painting. And in the technical aspect of it first, I'm going to like explain it a bit. In the technical aspect then, and I used oils, just oils. I didn't use any medium or mixed media or anything, just normal brush and oils. And I used the brand Windsor and Newton, New sets. I think that's how, they're, how it's called. <laughs> and I used a very limited palette that consisted in black and white, purple and yellow. That's it, four colors. So, these are the paints that I brought from New York to Chile. So at first I was a bit like frustrated a bit by not having all the tones that I wanted. But I think at the end, the, having a restriction made me get more creative to make something. And on the other hand, I haven't been able to find like the things that I do want to get. I haven't been able to find them here in Chile. For example, I wanted more oils of that brand and I couldn't find that. It's not only because it's chilly, it's because things are closed. So um, I missed so much my art supplies. You have no idea. And I hope they're good because they moved out my things from my apartment. So I have no idea how all of that is. So I haven't been able to buy that and I haven't been able to buy a uh, bigger canvas and also I wanted to buy like a drawing table and used to work in that like in a reclined drawing table and of course I don't have one here and I was painting this just like up against the wall at first and because of being painting like this for hours I ended up like straining my hand and I couldn't even like use it for not even like texting for days and so that sucked then my brother found um, easel <laughs> and that helped a bit. So, what the fuck? So that helped a bit. And on the other hand, I don't want to buy all these supplies and things um, that I feel like I need or want and then leave them here because, of course, I think eventually I'm going to get back to New York. And I have to leave all those things here. And I don't know, I, I don't know how long I'm going to stay either. Like my ticket back was like a month ago and that's, and I thought that was already like a long time. <laughs> things are, I don't know. So I don't know if you see it um, good from there, but it's a bit uneven and that's because I haven't varnished this yet and that's what i will do probably tomorrow i was giving this piece and the oils and everything some time to dry like completely dry before going and um, with varnish and that's going to even it up and i don't know make it more vibrant and beautiful by the way i have never varnished uh, nothing actually before this is going to be my first time, but I am quite an addict of like those varnish porn clips that you see like social media. And I'm going to make one of my own that you're about to see in this video. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and it's as satisfying as it is for me to watch. And yes, yeah, the first time because I'm a noob 
in all this painting and art thing. I, what I'm, I don't know if you're new here, like my channel, but what I'm basically doing is that I'm, this is my art journey and I'm documenting how I progress in it. So you might like learn with me, grow with me, see me improve, hopefully, um, entertain yourself, get inspired about how it is possible because I have faith. And I don't know. So June, June last year was the first, I did my first oil painting ever and when I did that I did fell in love immediately with it like I knew I was going to um, but also I thought I would never get to this point the skills I had at that point I, I don't know I, I knew I wanted to get to this point I knew I hope <laughs> that I, I hoped getting here but I couldn't even like it was not something I could imagine or picture in, at that point. And I don't know, it's quite amazing. You actually can do whatever you set your mind to. And by the way, that first painting, uh, June last year, was in Parsons for a class. And today was my Parsons graduation. <laughs> Funny enough, it was a Zoom call. It was an online, very, yeah, graduation. That's not what I was expecting. I really wanted to go to that thing, like actually go. Okay, so I feel or think this is a successful painting. Let me first of all define what a successful painting is to me. To me, a successful painting is a creation that it's close like the closer it is to what the artist had in mind or what's aiming for that's how successful it is so that might be the image someone had before starting the feeling they wanted to express um, an idea they wanted to convey whatever the artist had in mind so how close you get to what you had in mind is how successful your piece is to me i had this idea in my mind and i think it's almost exactly what i had in my head not exactly like it could definitely be more successful <laughs> but it is i didn't expect it to be as close as it is so for a piece to be successful, it doesn't depend on how many people like it, how realistic it came out, um, how, I don't know, how much did it sell for. It's, for me, that's what it's about. And actually, I think having an idea and bring it, bring it to life and look at it and it's an unbeatable feeling for me. Anyways, it's what I'm passionate about. So. So I drew this concept last year in a, just like in a sketchbook, I was just like drawing just because when I went to visit my parents in Colombia, I really liked the concept and I wanted it to become something more. Like I, I liked the concept, I, I wasn't sure about how I like made it real, like how I artistically manifested that concept. And I wanted something like this. But as soon as I had that idea and wanted to do that, I was like, okay, I don't, I, it's, an, I can't, I can't yet. I should probably practice and improve my skills and wait to do that idea. Like I should put it standby. First of all, it's way out of my capabilities right now. And I wanted it to be big and I have never painted something this big before so I never sat down for so many hours to do one project I don't know it seemed like absolutely out of reach absolutely 
So I said, like, I write it down, like, the idea, and I was like, I'll come back to it at some point when I'm ready. But then days went by, and I couldn't shake it off. I couldn't take it out of my mind. I was doing another, other projects and things, and I couldn't stop thinking about this one. So I was like, okay, if this thing is living so vibrantly in my mind, I could at least try. You can always gesso it back down and use it and make something else. So I tried to take all the pressure out of, m out of myself, just like don't be so pushy and whatever. And little by little, day by day, hours by hours, it kind of like start to add and piece up. And I was like, holy shit, I think I made it. <laughs> I think I might do it. And then I was like, okay, I made it. And it was super magical. And I don't know, I'm super happy. I'm so ready to start with my next idea that it's going to be kind of a sister or brother or whatever, sibling of this one. If you want to adopt this piece, this original one, um, you can contact me and we can make that happen. Also, I made some merch and prints and shirts and mugs and things with this artwork that are, it's going to be available in a link in the description below. And I think that's it. So if you like this video this project and if you want to support me please uh, give this video a like and a comment and if you can and if you can if you want uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see my next video and my next painting and just live with me this journey then subscribe to my channel and click the bell next to the bottom so you will get notified every time I post something and also you can follow me in my social media I have all the links to my Instagram Tumblr Twitter everything in the description below also I made a drawing like it was already a drawing, but I made a new illustration of the painting using my iPad. It, I, I have an iPad, it's new. I never had one before and I'm super excited. And this is going to be my first drawing in Procreate ever. Uh, it's still on the making, but it's going to be probably ready tonight. I'm doing that because I want to put these um, so I'm working in my second book and it's an encyclopedia and it has like definitions and illustrations and I, I want to include this there so that's why I'm making also an illustration um, yeah that's it for me I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one
Ugly Beauty. Some lifetimes ago, the first artistic representation of human beauty was made. Since then, we've always had something to compare ourselves and others to. The more similar your features are to whatever that canon might be, the more graceful you are, and vice versa. Which reference or parameters you hold to depends on your culture, social group, media, and, in an embarrassingly poor degree, your own taste. That's the ugly in beauty. We've got almost no say or merit in where we stand in the superficial spectrum. Yet, we rest essential things like our self-esteem, our love for others, decisions, judgments, etc. on it. It can so easily blind us, blind us to our self-worth, blind us to others' worthiness, blind us to all that resides inside. You might not even realize, everything goes disguised, happening in that dark room behind, you know, your subconscious. Reality is not what we live, we live our perception of it. And our perception of someone's actions or true being can be easily romanticized or over-criticized. It's hard to actually see the ugly in beauty, or the beauty in ugly. It could also be the other way. You can underestimate other qualities in a beautiful piece, or overvalue other aspects in a beautiful mind. Don't be blind.
Maybe here in Australia Maybe even on the coast Disguised in regalia And making the most of the most Of a... Maybe here in Australia, maybe even on the coast. <laughs>